so um, this is going this is going to be the start of a new series where uh, each day, uh, hopefully each day, we'll see. I'll be I'll be uh, I'll be reading uh, one ver one verse uh, one chapter of the Bible, and eventually I'll get over I'll get through the entire Bible, and. Uh, and stuff like that, and it's gonna—it's a three-year thing, cause like I got this uh, student Bible here that my grandma got me, and I've been reading it for a while. It has like the track reading programs in it. I've been reading the—I read the uh, the two week, uh, yeah, the two weeks, and then the six months one, and then now I'm on the three years, and uh, I've been—I uh, I want to—I want to uh, basically. Uh, I want to try and spread the the word of the Bible without having to uh, deal with social anxiety. Basically, I want to try to spread God's word without without um having to like I said uh, talk to a bunch of people in in person and stuff like that. Because the way I am is I, I'm very uh, um I have social anxiety and I'm not very good at talking to people and stuff like that. I'm a very introverted kind of guy and stuff like that. So I want, and, and the, one of the books that my grandma gave me that I, uh, that I read through says, you know, it's our, it's, it's our job as part of, uh, as, as, as believers to kind of, um, to spread the word as much as we can. And I want to do that in a way that, um, I don't feel is, uh, it's gonna be annoying, you know, cause, cause whenever people think about, you know, like, like the Jehovah, the Jehovah's Witnesses coming to your door, like, oh, like, eesh, you know, I'm gonna avoid them, cause I don't wanna, cause they're, they're kinda, they're kinda trying to push their, their, they're gonna kinda talk to me, and they're kinda pushy, you know, as so like, the, the vibe, you know, whenever, like, whenever I've seen, uh, like, Jehovah's Witnesses coming up to my door and stuff like that, and I look through the little peephole, I'm like, yeah, you don't know, I ain't that to your ass. You know, and stuff like that. So I'm going to try to do this. And stuff like that. I, I'm, I'm going to be reading, like I said, from the Student Bible International Version. New, no, new International Version. And I don't know if... Because well, uh, I, I don't know if... um, What's it called? If this is copyrighted or not. So what I'm going to do for safety is, like... I'm I'm just gonna read the text. I'm not going to read like let's say, cause like for each chapter, what's really nice is that they have like an introduction that kind of gives some context, and I might summarize the context. And there's also like some things and stuff like that, like little like got little like they'll have like notes in there and stuff. So for copyright's sake, I'm probably not gonna I'm I'm definitely not gonna read word for word the the little notes and stuff like that. So I'm I'm just gonna read the text and um. And stuff like that. I might do more reading. We'll see. And uh, I'm going to try to make this as best quality as possible. At least with the audio. The audio is, is what really. Is what I'm really. Is, is really important. And I, I struggle to get audio perfectly. But I'm going to. Since this is this is work for the Lord. You know. I'm going to try and try my best. And stuff like that for the audio. Because you really don't need the video. Let's be honest. But uh, I can't just upload audio to YouTube. No can I? But, uh, but yeah, like, I'll give some context, um, I'm a Christian, and stuff like that, and, uh, I've been getting into, I've, I've been, uh, uh, getting into the faith, th and so, get, gain my, you know, get really into religion, and the Christian religion, and stuff like that, at the beginning of this year, uh, which has, at the time of watching this, it's, uh, it's like, what, August 2022? So I didn't really, I started getting into it, you know, started reading the student Bible because I saw the track reading program like at the beginning of this year. And I was, and I thought, you know, this is kind of fresh, you know, I only have to read one a day, you know, because the Bible is very intimidating because it's so long. And I said, I, I liked what I was saying, I was, you know, I, was I, I truly feel like God, like God has come into, has, uh, has really, has really made an impact on me. And even these past like six, six or so so months, you know, and I, I just want to spread the word, you know, and stuff like that. Have it get, be able to get as many people saved as possible, you know, and stuff like that. So, 
so anyway, uh, so I'm going to be going on my journey in faith, and well, and I hope that in my faith, you know, and as I, uh, as I'm, and and as I'm doing so and maturing and stuff like that, God's working on me. I want, I want to try and reach others, despite my um, my social inadequacies and fears. So anyway, we're going to start with Genesis one today, and. Uh, so yeah, so this is, I really don't need to read the introduction that, that the book has. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, it talks about God and uh, God creating the earth and stuff like that. Uh, and, and stuff like that. So let's, let's get into Genesis 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. God saw that the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. And God said, Let there be an expanse between the waters to separate water from water. So God made the expanse and separated the water under the expanse from the water above it. And it was so. God called the expanse sky, and there was evening, and there was the morning, and the second day. And God said, Let the water under the sky be gathered to one place, and let dry ground appear. And it was so. God called the dry ground land, and the gathered waters he called seas, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the land produce vegetation, seed-bearing plants, and trees on the land that bear fruit with seed in it according to their various kinds, and it was so. The land produced vegetation, plants bearing seed according to their kinds, and trees bearing fruit with seed in it according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning the third day. God said, Let there be light in the expanse of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let them serve as signs to mark seasons and days and years. And let them be lights in the expanse to give light on the earth. And it was so. God made two great, two great lights: the greater light to govern the day, and the lesser light to govern the night. He also made the stars. God set them in the expanse of the sky to give light on the earth, to govern the day and the night, and to separate light from darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was the evening, and there was morning the fourth day. Dang, that's a lot of reading. All right, and God said, "Let the water teem with living creatures, with living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the expanse of the sky." So God created the great creatures of the sea and every living and mo moving thing in which with which the water teems, according to their kinds, and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them and said, "Be fruitful and increase in number and fill the water." And the seas, and let the birds increase on the earth. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, Let the land produce living creatures according to their kinds, livestock, livestock which are creatures that move along the ground, and wild animals, each according to its kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals according to their kinds, the livestock according to their kinds, and all the creatures that move along the ground according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, "Let us make a man. Let's, let us make man in our image, in our likeness, and let them rule over the flesh of the sea and the birds of the air, over the over the livestock, over all the earth, and all over the creatures that move along the ground." God created man in His own image, in the image of God He created him. Male and female He created them. God blessed them and said to them, "Be fruitful and increase in number." Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air and over every living creature that moves on the ground. Then God said, I give you every seed-bearing plant on the face of the earth and every tree that has fruit and with seed in it. They will be yours for food and to all the beasts of the earth and all the birds of the air and all the creatures that move on the ground. Everything that has the breath of life in it, I give every green plant for food. And it was so. God saw all that he had made, and it was very good, and there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. And I'm going to read a little bit of, of 2, of verse 2, 
just because I think it wraps it up quite nicely. Uh, Thus the heavens and the earth were completed in all their vast array. By the seventh day, God had finished the work he had been doing. So on, on the seventh day, he rested from all his work. And God blessed the, the seventh day and made it holy because on it he rested from all the work of creating that, that he had done. All right. Simple verse. Uh, I didn't realize that it would it would be such... Um, that it, it was it's definitely harder than I thought it would be to to, to read aloud that much, but but you know what you know what it's it's good it's good it's fine it's it's great actually because I'm doing the Lord's work you know you know so you, so you, sometimes you got to struggle but uh, but yeah tomorrow we'll do verse two uh, I'll think about whether I want to do read the first part of the verse two again like I did like I just did. Um, but yeah, tomorrow, Genesis 2, and, uh, yeah, 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 uh, as always, I would like, uh, if this gives me, I would like, I would like you to talk to me in the comments about, about, uh, about your faith, and if you have anything, if you have anything in, uh, insightful to, uh, to, to, to add and stuff like that, because I'm very, I'm very, like I said, I'm very, uh, I'm at the beginning of my journey, and stuff like that, and uh, I always welcome wisdom and stuff like that. And in any you know, in the, in, uh, if there's a discussion that needs to be had and stuff like that, we could do that and stuff like that. Assuming may, maybe if this gets bigger, no, I don't know. Uh, I hope this reaches people. I, mean, I wish I could do shorts, but I know it, t it takes longer than a minute to read this. But uh, but yeah, um, look. For, I hope you look. I hope uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for verse for Genesis chapter two.